Hi everyone, Lewis in. I'd like to welcome you uh, to this quick and short video. And in this video today, guys, I just want to show you how to, how you can improve your email open rates. All right, uh, and I know a lot of people that struggle to uh, get you know great open rates. Uh, and there is one way you can improve your email open rates, uh, and you can literally implement this within the space of you know thirty minutes. All right. Once you've done this once, it's done forever, all right? So basically, the problem people have uh, with getting email open rates is uh, they're not using a business uh, email, all right? Most people are using Gmail, Hotmail, and all, you know, emails like that. Uh, I'm going to tell you the problem with emails like that, all right? These e there's millions of these emails, all right, on the internet. You know, there's millions of people that have got email accounts with Gmail, Hotmail, you know, and companies like that. All right, and the problem with that is that those emails could be counted as blacklisted. All right, and basically, all the autoresponders companies like Aweber, GetResponse, do not like, you know, emails that have been blacklisted. All right. So basically, there is one strategy you can do. All right, is get a, a professional business email. All right. So basically, if you go to GoDaddy, you know, uh, you can get a professional email. All right. It's as low as uh, two pound ninety nine per user. That's in pounds. Uh, I do live in the UK. Uh, you'd have to go to uh, if you want that in dollars. You just have to go to the GoDaddy uh, for the US. Uh, it's yeah, so it's two pound ninety nine, you know, in in UK pounds, and basically that is going going to get you a professional email, right, uh, for your business, uh, which which will improve your email open rates, right? Once you've got this, uh, you will get email, you will get better email open rates. Uh, you know, I implemented this strategy. You know just once and it didn't take me long I did it uh, and I saw a result just like that I literally got four times the uh, email open rates I had previously to that all right from when they had the Gmail account all right so basically that is a strategy you need to uh, be implementing uh, for your autoresponder uh, what I'm going to be doing now is I'm just going to show you a quick example on what I mean by professional email. All right. So basically, you know what a Gmail Hotmail account looks like. You know, it looks something like this. Okay, that's what most people have. All right, that's just a, a general example of what most people have. All right, uh, LewisBets at gmail.com. All right, it's a Gmail. It's blacklisted. It's not going to help your email open rates. All right. Uh, what I mean by professional email is, right? Uh, I have a blog at loosebets.com. Uh, you can go check that out if you like. Uh, but you know, for my blog, I have a professional business email. All right. And this professional business email goes like, you know, contact at loosebets.com. All right. As you can see there, it's got nothing to do with Hotmail, nothing to do with Gmail, nothing like that. It's professional, uh, it makes you look professional, and, and it gets you uh, better email open rates. All right. Uh, a lot of people are using Gmail and Hotmail. Uh, if you are using Gmail or Hotmail, I recommend you go to GoDaddy, get a professional domain. Or if you have your own hosting account, you can actually create a professional email on there for free on one of the domains you already own all right so you can do that all right so if this is Lewis Betts all right uh, again get a professional email it will increase your email open rates and it also makes you look professional uh, I hope you enjoyed this video uh, if you did please subscribe if you would like more videos like this and uh, I'll speak to you soon